And we certainly do miss having live in-studio guests, but every now and then, we still like to sprinkle a little music into the mix. In this segment, Bill introduces us to Tyler Meacham, a talented musician from the Richmond area. And after the break, we'll enjoy a song from Tyler and her band. Here's that conversation with Bill. Our next guest is a talented singer-songwriter from Richmond. She has had a lot of success as a solo artist, as well as performing with her band on a national tour. We're going to enjoy a song coming up after a quick after the break. But first, we're going to meet and talk with Tyler Meacham and welcome her to Virginia this morning. Hey, Tyler. Hello. So as a musician who's been out on the road and we're going to get into that tour in a second ago, um, I've talked to a lot of musicians in the last couple of months uh, and I have a lot of friends that are musicians and they you know, there's a musician, there's a performer, there's an artist, all of that rolled into one, but performing before an audience is what most musicians love doing the, the most because you get, you get that feedback, you get that energy, and it means a lot, obviously having a hard time doing that. Has that affected your music and how you approach it? And then are you reaching out to folks? Absolutely. Um, everything about the music industry right now is is completely flipped upside down. Um, in a previous life before before COVID was was part of our everyday lives, I was on the road with my band. We were playing shows to packed rooms full of people. We were meeting people face to face. Um, and now so much of what we do is online. We're streaming on Facebook and Instagram live. We've had a few outdoor concerts and driving experiences, all of which is very different from the ways we used to engage with our audience. So We've definitely had some really interesting shows, but for the most part, the last few tours that we were doing right before uh, COVID kind of brought everything to a, a screeching halt, they were incredible. We were having such a great time. We were meeting so many wonderful people. And the way that I like to go about it as as kind of a self-managed musician is, is trying to put together shows with people that are um, inclusive and interested in, in sharing the stage and allowing their audience to kind of find out who else is out there, who they also might be interested in listening to. Let's talk a little bit about how you're connecting with folks, you know, with Facebook or streaming or whatever you're doing to reach out to people so you can still keep playing music, even though it's not a crowd sitting in front of you. Absolutely. Um, in the first few months of COVID, when we were all stuck at home. There is this outpouring of support for the music industry, for, for local artists specifically, People were tuning in on Facebook Live and Instagram Live. They were sending virtual tips via Venmo or PayPal and buying merchandise and all of that. And that has been so helpful. I will say that since it has been seven or eight months that we're, we're into this thing now, some of that support has kind of started to dwindle. So musicians and artists and industry professionals like myself definitely are struggling to keep up and continuing to, to stay relevant. So much is happening in the world right now. Um, so... I personally, I still try and connect. I'm, I'm working on new music here in my home studio. I'm releasing music as, as much as I possibly can to, to my secret group on Patreon. Um, so there's all sorts of ways that we're trying to stay connected. It is so much more difficult to do it online than it would have been if we were performing in front of real live human beings in person. <laughs> Do you have a, 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 you know, I know music and your songs are like your children. You know, you don't love one more than the other, but some of them are fun. Some are serious. Do, do you fall into that category? Um, absolutely. Every song that I write, I, I write mostly for me. But then in the process, I realized that um, music is, is really up to the listener. They see themselves and they hear themselves in every song. So what I write about, although it is all very personal and sometimes it's, it's upbeat and fun and personal and sometimes it's sad and, or it's about some sort of emotional heartbreak, um, I know that my music is really for, for the listener and it's for the people that may see themselves in that um, and may feel a little bit less alone in this kind of crazy world. So I hope that all of my songs in some way reflect that. All right. You know, I heard a saying a couple of years ago that I absolutely I'd love to tell people about, and it says, music is love you can hear. That's great. Yep, I totally agree with that. <laughs> yeah. Tyler, we wish you the very best, Arlen, and uh, with everything you're doing, and hopefully you'll be out there in front of folks before long, but we are also going to hear from a song from uh, Tyler and her band when Virginia This Morning continues after a quick break. 